announced have been uh, Blue Beetle and Harley Quinn. Uh, we also announced uh, Deathshot and, um, you know, the, the, these, this is kind of one of the very few uh, um, times we're going to see actually live gameplay of these new characters. You know, a lot of the, uh, we've just in videos before, but this is, you know, these guys are actually playing the character. Oh, Harley Quinn. Hello, Harley. Harley from the Suicide Squad, we're uh, excited, you know, good timing as far as, you know, when to bring that up. Our returning characters, Harley, you know, we, we really wanted to keep each character kind of the essence of how they felt in the last game. So if there was a, you had a favorite character, you're kind of feel at home, but also add a lot of new stuff that, you know, you can still learn. Harley Quinn can actually summon these hyenas to attack uh, your opponent. And uh, Blue Beetle's awesome. He's got the, you know, the, the cherub. He's got the, the, uh, the, the arms behind him. And he's, you know, it's just a... Uh, how he can transform his arms into different, you know, weapons and, and, and guns, and it's, it's just awesome. It's going to add a nice variety of gameplay. For, I mean, does he have sort of different abilities that you can take form and try to manipulate him the way that you want him? Yeah, absolutely. He's, um, you know, and then again, all these characters, you know, the way you see him now, he's going to look, you know, dramatically different in like, let's say, two, three weeks when you've equipped him with, you know, hundreds of, of pieces of gear and keep, keep gearing up. So when you get online and you play against another character, there's Harley, another character, uh, Blue Beetle, they'll look different. So you'll have a, such a, a crazy look. Of, uh, That's amazing. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. That made you laugh, didn't yeah. it? I mean, it's just, you don't expect something like that to happen. Uh, so, I mean, you mentioned the different pieces of armor. How customizable is the armor going to be? Are we going to be able to outfit our character with, you know, 20, 30 different pieces of armor? Well, there's, there's, there's kind of like five main slots, you know, like, like, and each, each character has like a different, um, like, like main piece that, that pieces that changes. You know, Batman obviously is going to change his utility belt a lot, sure. his cape, his cowl, his, his insignia his and chest and all that. Um, and so, so it's kind of like we make the choice based on the character, what's, what's kind of like your signature, um, signature costume pieces. Nice. And so it's, it's, it's a lot of, it's been a lot of fun for our, our designers and for our, our artists in terms of kind of defining this, this transition oh, man. Cool. It has a cool kind of cameo from uh, Black Manta there. Oh! That's another thing about the, the previous game was how interactive the backgrounds and the, the levels themselves can be. Are you guys going to step that up with this game as well? Absolutely. That's, uh, that's uh, what we feel is a big part. It's like a signature feature of Injustice is interaction with backgrounds, multiple backgrounds on the arenas and kind of getting, you know, a feeling of two two different arenas to fight in. These are kind of like the, uh, the, the gear drops that you have where you'll, you'll, you'll see the stats that, how it increases strength or, or defense or, you know, your special abilities. And, you know, you can apply them right there if you want, or you can go to kind of like a gear screen and kind of equip it how you, uh, you know, kind of customizing it to a specific fight. And how often are we going to see those loot drops? With, is it something that we're going to have to sort of grind towards to finally unlock a piece of new armor? Or is it going to be something that happens more frequently? Um, we'd like to have it uh, uh, fairly frequently, but not to the point where it's not an event at all. Sure. And so, so we're, we're still kind of messing with the, the exact frequency, but we definitely want to have, and certainly in the beginning, you know, the player to really get an understanding of that loop, that loop, that whole process of, of, of constantly upgrading your character and making yeah. decisions. You know, we're going to have, you know, certain challenges that you need specific uh, pieces of gear just to get into the challenge. Oh, wow. So you know, that'll be part of your collection is, uh, you know, you, Batman might need a piece of kryptonite gear to fight a certain, you know, boss Superman or something. And Or if he goes into that tower without that gear, he just gets annihilated. But then when he has this kryptonite gear, then it really ups your chances. So that kind of game as far as, you know, strategically picking your gear and, and for certain situations, it's going to be part of the fun of kind of having this collection of gear. And what if there's that, you know, that one piece of gear that you love so much, you just can't let go, but you have something that's even better. Is there any way to sort of avoid losing that or do I have to just give up my passion for that piece of gear? No, you, you, you have a whole storage of uh, a gear that you can have. Like it's kind of like, like a locker room and you can, you know, change outfits as, as needed. Nice. So you always, you always be able to keep that kind of special piece of gear that is, uh, that, you know, you, you, some legendary piece that you found that you never want to get rid of. Oh, God. You don't want to... Okay. What's going to happen now? Oh, it's water a series slides? of tubes. It's a series of tubes. <laughs> it's a water slide, mid-level, nice relaxing, sort of take a break, cool yeah. off. And so how much fun is it for you guys, not only to just put characters, you know, that people want to see in the game, 
as playable characters, but you know, you mentioned like you get to see characters in the background you might not necessarily get to play as, but is that cool for you guys to get to dive into and just add characters to the mix that people might not notice and then you play through a couple times and you're like, oh, I didn't even notice that person was there. It's the coolest thing in the world. You know, we're, we're our entire studio is huge, you know, superhero fans, you know, DC, DC fans, and, the, you know, there are a lot of characters that we never got a chance to put in, like Blue Beetle, and um, that we didn't get to the first game. And when we announced them, you know, we, we've had, you know, years of people just kind of clamoring, you know, Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle. I, 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 I interact with a lot of uh, our... our our fans on Twitter, and Blue Beetle was one of the, easily the most uh, requested? requested characters. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you guys go about picking characters? It's just a lot of it is the feedback from feedback. Yeah, exactly. All and right. Kind of interacting with them. I put polls every once in a while on Twitter. Really? Who would you rather see in the game and whatnot? And we listen to that. Well, hopefully we get to see the question or booster gold sometime. You never know. <laughs> Those, are dope. Those dudes are dope. You want that Booster Gold hype? I want Booster Gold, man. He will never get any credit for winning a match. You follow that on Twitter, maybe he'll put that in a poll. I don't know. You can respond, yeah. and then you can maybe have that A chance that to you can have that vote. That puts you know what, with the election coming up, too, <laughs> your vote is, is, is your a very poignant thing to have happen. Yeah. What's happening? Oh. See, even Harley Quinn has, like, she has pigtail covers. But sometimes you got to protect the piggy tails. Yeah, that's one, of, <laughs> that's one of the pieces of costume you can get to, uh, upgrade her, her you know her stats with is, is those covers of the details and even with the the, uh, the unlocks you saw earlier there was like a legendary a rare there's gonna be different tiers of exactly exactly and and your character's gonna kind of level up to you know different levels and we'll have a ceiling uh that that everybody can hit so you can level up all you know 28 characters okay. there's a lot of you know literally thousands and thousands of pieces of, of gear uh -huh. scattered in the game that you know you're on this kind of constant hunt to find and are they going to be like, like sets of gear like if you have absolutely okay oh yeah 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 we really we'd love to do you know um sets that are um themed together you know sure. like maybe like the, the harley movie set or the harley from the animated series or you know all the different uh incarnations of these characters we'd love to be able to represent them with gear pieces. And you guys get to take from all sorts of, like you mentioned, the animated series, you can do the movie stuff, so you can just play from the entire DC library of costumes and outfits that we've seen. That's one of the funnest things about, you know, kind of like doing this. It's a very collaborative thing with DC. They give us access to all of this content, so we're constantly watching animated series, reading the comic books, and then, and just, or, you know, obviously watching all the different forms of media, and just any idea that we see that we think is cool, we can apply to the fighting game, you know, we put it in there. It's gonna be rough. You know, I gotta work today. I gotta read all these comic books, exactly. watch all these animated series, yeah. watch all these movies. Exactly. Oh man. Do that, Wonder Woman. You don't want to anger the. Girl. I don't care how smart you are. Ace of Clubs, way better than Ace of Spades. Just saying. A little bar room action. Now you get a chance to play as Wonder Woman. Make their board badass. Man. Shield, sword. Oh, there was still a brain in that skull. There was. It's gone yeah, now. It's gone. Yeah, it totally got popped. The group doesn't play around, my friend. I can only imagine, like, taking characters, you know, like Superman, obviously group, very powerful characters, but adding armor to them and making them even look crazy, just dominant figures, and it's just got to be a fun thing to sort of dive Ooh. in, meddle with. Oh, oh man. Yeah, the whole process of like making your kind of version of these characters is is really the the, the fun of it. Is making a custom version that is when you go online, you're not going to see another one that looks like it and or plays like it because of the the strengths that you want to you know if you want to focus on offense or defense. That's that's really the whole loop that we really want players to get into. And it's uh, like uh, with all the different armor, you're going to have the option to you know more powerful on the offense or more defense focused armors exactly. and stuff as well. Exactly. Yeah. Linda Carter, one of them. Oh, can we make there we go. Oh, oh man! Like, come on, that guy was that driving car was fast. going really fast. That package had to get delivered on time. <laughs> Lex Corp shout out in the background. I love yeah, it. throughout the whole game, there's there's a, a million uh, references to the different uh, DC events that have happened over the years. And what's the coolest thing you've got to add to the game that you couldn't do in Injustice 1? That we could, uh, probably the graphics up, uh, update. We really, uh, we have a whole new graphics engine that we didn't have in Injustice 1, and it really is going to let us do uh, a much more, you know, realistic movie-like presentation of these sure. characters, yeah. Oh, 
I mean, obviously, you know, with the, the eSports tournaments that are happening, I can only assume that you guys are going to be focusing, having...